Fruit and Challenge. So today we're going to talk about the single leg RDL with a barbell in particular, but a lot of these principles will apply to when you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell or even just body weight. So one of the biggest things, there's a few biggest things <laughs> that I see people doing is leading with your upper back. So reaching for the floor first versus keeping everything in line. So we're just going to start out with the setup. So you're going to take your bar out of the rack. Now we're going to get our lats nice and tight. So pulling back your shoulders and keeping your core engaged. And then as you initiate the movement, I'm going to bend my knee. I'm going to ground down through the three corners of my foot and I'm going to kick back at the same rate that I'm hinging at my hips. Okay. Versus if I start hinging at my hips early, this is where the imbalance comes in. And you no might notice that the bar also came out in front of me. So I'm keeping the bar really close to my body, kicking back at the same rate that I'm hinging at my hips. So I'm not leading. I'm not leading with my hips first. I'm not leading with my upper back and reaching for the floor. That's when you're going to lose your balance. And then the other thing that often happens is a hip rotation. So coming open like this, it's not as easy to do that when you're doing the bar, but that also as when you're using a kettlebell, dumbbell, or body weight, but that also could be leading to some imbalance. So keeping those hips squared to the floor, keeping that weight super close, and I'm really focusing on grounding down through my foot and squeezing my glutes. Hopefully that helps with some balance issues. Really don't underestimate keeping that upper back nice and tight for your single leg RDLs. I am going to show you one time without the bar, keeping the hips squared versus rotating open. Okay, from the side, hip squared versus rotating open. Okay, hopefully that helps. Have a good day.